Good morning traders. Um jumped in e uh MVCN again last night. Market about to open up any second now. Um ready to take profits real quick. See a huge wall of sellers right here at 55. Let's see if any buyers step up. Risk is five cents. Risk is five cents area. So far, bears taking this thing down. Huge wall right here. Any Should have good support at five cents. I could be wrong, but should have good support around the five cents area. It's okay to cut losses, you guys, as long as we stick to the plan. This thing just went right on the day. Risk is five cents. Risk is the five cent area. A lot of selling right now. Have this ready, you guys, in case I need to cut losses. Buyers buying the dips, you guys. This is looking like a bullish pin bar so far, but it's not done forming yet, but buyers buying the dips. This is my risk area, you guys can see the red line right here. Held really well again, tested five cents a few times already in the past few days. Tested it here yesterday, tested it here the day before, tested it here, tested it here. So, should have five cents should hold unless these shorts take it down. If it cracks five, I will be getting out for a loss because it has a chance to go. The next support is at four cents right here, around four cents. So if it cracks five, I'll be stomping the hell out. Just want this thing to go from red to green. Um, dip buyers bought the dip right here so far. A little wall at five three four. Sometimes you gotta be comfortable being uncomfortable, you guys, in trading. You gotta get to like be comfortable. So you, even if we do take a loss right here, it's fine, you guys. It's always another trade. You just manage our losses. As long as we stick to the plan, it's a good trade. Sometimes I do these videos just to help me because I'll be talking and I'll like make sure I stick to the plan. 
because I know I'll be uploading this and it'll actually help me so sometimes you know some people could watch watch this in action to see how violent sometimes these things are how volatile they are so sometimes you just gotta be like comfortable with being uncomfortable for a minute and just stick to the plan no matter what like even if I could stomp out right here and take a $40 loss but I want to stick to my plan you know so even if we might have to take a bigger loss here it's okay you guys that's my plan so we're gonna stick to the game plan buyers but stepping up at 5330 buyers stepping up need more size though we need some more size let me show you guys a uh, 10 day real fast you can see this is my my um this is my target area my price target area right here so or this is my risk area so as long as between here and here if we can get a uh, this thing to go from green to red I mean from red to green this will be this area will be my profit taking area if it cracks this this is my risk area so no matter what we have to try to stick to the plan it's hard to stick to the plan sometimes but you gotta think about it as like in a series of trades like um, that's like reading Mark Douglas's book trading in the zone and stuff really opens you up to like thinking okay it's it's not about one trade like who cares about one trade it's about a, a series of trades so think about it as a series of trades perspective nobody has a hundred percent win rate ever the top stock traders have like a 65 70 percent win rate and some people even have 40 50 percent still make money because they manage the risk really well because there's a lot of people who make money in the market, but they're like sustainable to giving it all back. So, what's the point? And in in, the, in, the, in his book, he refers to that as the boom and busters, where guys, if you look at their um, like profitly chart or their graph, you can see how the little the graph goes up their profits, then it comes right back down again. And that's how I was like in the first year, and then he shows another graph where it's like normal losses, where it's on a steady uptrend. And it makes a lot of sense. As long as you have a good risk reward, you guys, um, stick to the plan. Make a decent plan and stick to it. And if, you know, do a, like a sample trade size. Say, okay, out of ten trades, how, how many did, how many worked? How much could I risk? You know, like <clears throat> this is my risk right here, you guys. So still in this thing. I know I went on a little rant, but yeah, look at this wall of sellers right here. Let's see if anybody takes them out right here. Let's go back to a five minute chart, you guys. Still down $26. Still down $26. See the sellers defending that 50 cent, 53 cent area, 5.3 cent area. Some buyers trying to get them out of there. Some buyers trying to take this thing back to green. This thing is, like I mentioned in other video, very violent sometimes. Sometimes it's up and down and up and down and just very violent. So that's why we have to try to manage risk the best we can on this one. If it slams back down again, if they stuff it back down again at the green area right here, we could have hard resistance. If it comes up to this area, we could have hard resistance in the red to green area. Let's get rid of Active Trader real fast. Let's check out the one minute, you guys. A little flag pattern forming a little bit. But we have VWAP right here. This thing hasn't been respecting VWAP for a few days, but yesterday kind of respected it all day. So. We'll see if we can get a crack. If volume steps up right here, if we could get a crack above VWAP, or this thing might just come down and stop us out. So let's see. We're going to stick to the plan, you guys. Don't see too much buyer stepping up. Um, this thing's still green on the day.
buyer's trying to push this thing back up. Seller's trying to hold it at the 53 area. This video might be a little long, you guys. Making lower highs on the one minute candle, which is a bearish sign, not too good, but also making um, a nice uh, bullish pin bar right here where buyers caught the dip right here. Watching the times and sales, not too much size in the buyers right now. Our NVA is on a breakout. Had the alert go off at three for a breakout buy, but you can see it was kind of topped off. Not good at breakouts. I rather do. I rather um like dip buy, better risk level than dip buy. Look at this thing going back down again. We're gonna stay in this thing, you guys, as long as it stays above five. That's the plan. Remember our saying, plan the trade, trade the plan. Don't wanna rationalize, don't wanna have any biases or anything like that. Just wanna stick to the plan. Looking bearish, look at this little trend right here. Looking very bearish. these lower highs right here you guys look at the, the sideways trend right now going down looks like it's forming a v-shaped pattern right here sometimes like even I'll be like like watching the stock and I'll be like okay where does it look like it's going so let this stock tells you. Right now it looks to me like it's going to five. But with support right here, we should bounce off five. Cracks under five, we're out of this thing, you guys. I think my risk is like a hundred bucks on this one. Which is fine, you guys. I could stomp out right here, but nope. Gonna stick to the plan. If it breaks this my trend up here, as long as it stays in this trend, let's extend that to the right. Let's just watch this trend line for a second. As long as it stays in this trend, it's gonna keep going down. Shorters recognize this, you guys. It's lower highs, lower highs, lower highs. That's four lower highs, five lower highs. As long as there's three or more, it's a decent trend going down. that you guys you see that should have probably been patient with this instead of buying yesterday should have actually waited for the dip today <clears throat> big buyer right here you guys see this guy 237,000 shares here's our wallet coming in but look at this huge wall right here <coughs> excuse me you guys a little sick today going to five I'm even happy you guys with cutting losses as long as I stick to the plan still a good trade part of the game you guys 
part of trading. Might have to cut losses. I'm like risking a hundred bucks to potentially make like two hundred. So two to one risk reward. So I'm at eighty nine dollars down so far on the day. Risking my five area. Look at these sellers you guys. Huge wall man trying to take this thing to four. They're gonna attack the five area. If this thing gets to five, it doesn't break right now. This trend, they're gonna attack. You're gonna see a lot of sellers at five. Then we might have some stop losses at five. So everybody will probably be like, like thinking right now, okay, a lot of longs, okay, my support is five cents. They see that. So let's say it gets to five cents and we don't have a lot of buyers hold this thing up. A lot of guys like me, we're gonna be selling to the market, selling to the bid, putting a limit order. So plus the stop losses if we don't have enough buyers to protect the five cent area this thing's gonna crash probably to four four point five four under five five will become new resistance if that happens we'll see right now they're trying to hold it above five still trying to break this trend I want to see this trend break start going up from here a lot of selling pressure though a lot of selling pressure Kind of breaking our trend right now. Kind of breaking our trend. Trying to get back past this huge seller. Where'd he go? There he goes. Kind of breaking our trend. Seller still pushed it down. <clears throat> Excuse me. I really wanted to see it crack VWAP right here. Possibly continue for this um, little trend now. Let's see if it stays in our new trend now. <coughs> Let's see if it continues for the continue of the V if, or if it fails. Make that a different color, you guys. What was that blue? Just so you guys can see a little better on the, um, and so I can see also a little better, a little trends getting stuffed again. Volume stepping up really well. Cracked VWAP, got stuffed back. Cracked VWAP, got, got stuffed back. Trying to. Sellers trying to protect this view up area right here. See buyers trying to push it up. Look at these guys push it right back down again. Let's see if buyers step it step it right back up again. Lower highs right here. You guys see this little V-shaped pattern almost uh, downward channels and then uh, upwards channels. We'll see if this channel fails. 
if it cracks the new channel or if it keeps going need more volume to step up can't see it too well on the five minute chart but you kind of get the picture here you could draw a bigger one bigger V for the five minute this thing is a crazy stock like I told you guys it crashes hard it goes up crazy too so trying to stick to the plan though let's see if VWAP holds let's see if this VWAP area holds still making lower highs I mean higher lows higher lows and higher highs on the one minute volume looking okay right here this is like a tweezer bottom almost and when you guys see a tweezer bottom this plus this equals a doji so where this open, I'll do a video about that later, but where this open, this close, this open, this close in almost the same area. So we're going to have like a doji um, pattern. This and this almost equals a doji, like um, basically a, a bullish pin bar. So we're going to see right now if this thing holds our trend, cracks view up. But none of this will we'll do anything guys if we don't have good volume to come in patterns work the most when there's good volume weak volume is with weak buying volume is when patterns fail a lot of selling pressure comes in so when our patterns fail let's maximize this you guys maybe we can get it a little bigger <coughs> excuse me See volume getting weaker. One minute chart. Still red on the day. Selling pressure coming in. Look at our trying to break our little trend, trying to break our channel. These guys are trying to break this channel, take it back down to five again. Huge seller at five three again. Still trying, they're still trying to protect this five three area. this would be like another triangle like a, like a triangle pattern where you could tell the stock is being squeezed right now but we have major resistance right here at 53 so it could fail right now really hard and get stuff back right here at 53 or it could crack 53 and then volume will probably step up shorts will probably start covering on the way up and it could squeeze but if you look at these sellers so it has to get past this 53 area Look at that. See what we said, you guys? If it doesn't crack here, it could slam right back down again. On low volume, though. If you would have had a little better patience than me today, you recognize the, the trend break, get in at right here on the first green candle, you could sell that resistance, you know, with a decent size, it's a quick couple hundred bucks right here. <clears throat> so they're still trying to keep it uh, red on the day. What are we down? How much are we down? Down still fifty-five dollars. Look at we have four forty-one, seven two three right here. Volume getting a little stronger, but really more sellers right now. 
still a dollar fifty dollars. Testing VWAP again. How's our five minute looking? Not too good on the five minutes. Decent buyers at 52, trying to protect the 52 area. Little, little wall at 52.3. I just either want to get stomped out already or go to my profit already. This patience thing is hard, man. It's hard sticking to the plan, you guys. Let's take it back to the triple screen. See how it just broke our trend, now it's on another downtrend. This is these lines will kinda help you guys out to see like where the stock is going. You see on the one minute chart, now it's on a downtrend again. So it's like my turn, your turn, my turn, your turn. That's how I think of it. Like okay, shorts are like my turn, the longs are like okay my turn, now the shorts are like my turn. I know it sounds pretty kindergarten, but KIS sent to the right. Keep it simple, you guys. Now it's to me, it's their turn. Make this blue so we can see it with the other ones. Until it cracks the trend, then it's the long term. So it's a constant battle, you guys. It's a constant battle between these longs and these shorts, between buyers and sellers. Now we see like a W shape pattern forming. Now if it bottoms out right here, breaks this trend, could start forming another trend going this way. Now let's watch it again.
she is, you guys. Now it's baking our downtrend a little bit. Now it might be the long turn again. We'll see if volume steps up. We'll see if it holds our new trend or if it continues in their trend. I know it's a lot of lines, you guys, but just trying to like draw it out as we go. It's gonna be a pretty long video, so. Let's see if it holds a new trend for us. Did I extend that? Yeah. Let's see if it makes a new trend, you guys. Or... It gets stuffed at by VWAP. Getting stuffed right now by these sellers at 510. This is like, you can say almost the head and shoulders, this little W shape pattern. You can see the head, shoulder, now continuing, starting to make the right side of the shoulder. So we can see resistance again at 53. This is our key resistance right now. And you can see that every time it gets there, we have a, we have a wall of sellers that protect the area. There are sellers, you guys, that will defend an area. So watch those guys. There are buyers also that will defend an area. Like these guys have been defending 50 cents for the past, I mean 5 cents for the past, um, for the past like week. So, hell, that was a few times at 5 cents, but momentum seemed to be slowing down in this thing. Let's see what happens with this pattern right here. You can see um, pre-market highs is right here, or the, the open highs, that's why I got this other resistance right here. Try to get back into our trend again, VWAP still stuffing it right here. Sellers at 5.2, huge buyers coming in right now at 5.2, trying to crack this VWAP area, VWAP's 5.22 right here, if we could get through VWAP, we're still going to have problems at 5.3, if buyers buyers um, need to step up hard, watch the volume bars right guys, I need really more than, the, more than this to kind of step up on the volume. I'm gonna draw a line just for the volume to, to make sure to see if it gets above one million on the one minute candle. Maybe drew that trend line a little too early. This is what you guys have to do sometimes. You gotta like as you go you guys uh, uh, let's remove this and let's make it a little better I'm gonna try to match at least two points there's two let's see if a third one matches see there's one right here and there's two right here a little trying to line up
Let's see if we can get past v -Lop, you guys. There we go, testing v -Lop. Testing v -Lop again. Seller is still trying to protect this area. Some shorts will even add on right here to, to protect this area. So they'll keep selling and you know they add on to pops. So but sometimes they might have to cut losses if this thing squeeze. Some of their um stop losses, which is buy to cover, they'll go off. So let's see right here if it gets stuffed by this again. If we can have a breakout. This will be like a one, two, double top also right here. If it gets stuffed again right here. Still testing VWAP. Huge seller at 52.5. Decent buyer at 52. Buyers trying to protect the 52 area, sellers trying to protect the 52 5 area, 52 3 area. Let's see if anybody on the sidelines gets knocks these guys out right here. Let's see who gets chipped away. We really want to see these guys get chipped away. Watch the size 178, 190, 52 3. And then 40. This guy's still here. Might have some hidden size. Let me get my charger, you guys. Buyer's coming in at I think I'm gonna either pause the video, you guys, or stop the video um, in the next couple minutes. Got a couple things to do. Probably take the laptop with me. Um, if I could get a chance to upload the next part two, I will. But even if like we didn't get an outcome from this video by ourselves, but you guys could still kind of watch and learn and see the battle going on and see the, the battle between buyers and sellers look at these big wall at 52.5 you guys now now they're trying to protect this resistance again so still in our little trend still in our little little trend going up either get like I said stuffed here depending on the buyers if buyers step up right here want shorts to, uh, to start covering you know add a little fuel to the fire but let's see if they if they do or not holding VWAP right now hopefully it respects VWAP still don't have a lot of buyers right here right here still have, still have a wall of sellers at the 52.5 area I'm gonna give this a couple minutes you guys thanks for being patient watching this video only dedicated people will watch like this whole video you guys so if you made it this far just keep being persistent and go for small gains and you can see I'm even down on this thing uh, $40 still gonna hold it so I'm gonna go and I'll see you guys later and probably do a part two to this I'm gonna hold on to this see what happens if it comes if it still gets down to five I'll be counting losses we'll see what happens you guys peace out if anybody has any questions please feel free to reach out to me